Okay, so you're known for your extreme textures and integrating mixed media. How did you come to painting such extreme textures? Ooh, let's see. Wow. It took years, and one day I completed a piece, walked away, came back, and looked at it, and something inside just said, it's done. What kind of mixed media do you integrate into your paintings? Uh, it could be anything. It could be mesh, um, almost a potato sack material, plastics. Anything that I see that looks different, I put it in there and see how it comes out. Some of them I incorporate uh, Swarovski crystals, which would be my bling series collection. And I just hand place the highest um, quality, I call them diamonds, I just hand place them in there and uh, strategically place them. And, and I always have to walk away and then it's done. And some of them I have um, um, glitter and I will just sprinkle a little bit of glitter um, over the work part or over different areas and a lots of layering of paint there's always i don't know at least more than five six coats of painting on my uh canvas so what inspires you life inspires me um i could see like i said a magazine ad i can hear music i can see a video i can see a flower outside cloud formation, it could be just about anything, which is exciting because it um, allows me just to be free, you yeah. know, with my work. Now what is this painting called behind you? Where is this, what is this inspired by? This was inspired by winter, oh. um, something that I saw with snow and um, it was, you know, in the winter months. and. It inspired me just to create sort of like a frosting, kind of a wintry feeling, but yet it sort of has a sort of calming effect when you look at it. You see at different angles, you'll see the, the blue, you know, from the sky and the reflection of the snow. Is there a title for it? This one's called Solitude, Winter Solitude. So some critics have said that your work um, can be described as um, cosmic, unique, and almost geographical. Do you agree with them, or how would you describe your art? I do. I um, and it's almost it's almost like I don't see it until it's completely done, and then I'll step away from it and come back and I'll look at the art. And I'll agree, I'll be like, wow, it is kind of cosmic. What are you hoping that your audience will get from your pieces of work? Um, a smile. <laughs> a big smile. Uh, we live in such a hectic world today, and everything's at a fast pace and stress. And so when you come home and you look at your work of art, it's kind of like looking at a saltwater tank. It's very calming and relaxing and it's almost like you can sit there you know after work dinner and go on a journey and you'll discover so many different things within the work of art.